Hey guys, welcome back. It is Wednesday, February 2nd. 2-2 two, two of 22. <laughs> Alright, let's get into it. We uh, Today, I'm reading the book, The Declaration, I Declare. Today's declaration says, I declare I will experience God's faithfulness. I will not worry. I will not doubt. I will keep my trust in Him, knowing that He will not fail me. I will give birth to every promise God put in my heart, and I will become everything God created me to be. This is my declaration. Each one of us has dreams and goals in our heart. There are promises that we are standing on. Maybe you are believing for a child to turn around, or believing to get healthy again, believing to start a business, or to be in ministry. Deep down, you know God has spoken that to your spirit. He has burst it on the inside. But so often, because it's taking a long time and we've been... Through disappointments, we get negative and start thinking that it will not happen. The reason many people don't see God's promises come to pass is because they become discouraged and give up too soon. But just because you don't see anything happening doesn't mean God is not working. Just because it's taking a long time doesn't mean God ran out of options. Your mind is saying, it's over. Your emotions are saying, no way. The circumstances look impossible. That doesn't mean God, God won't do what he said. God is faithful to his word. All of his promises are yes and amen. That means if you will do your part and believe, even though it looks impossible and not let your mind, your emotions, or other people talk you out of it, then God promises in due season and at the right time, he will bring it to pass. It may not happen the way you expect it or on your timetable, but God is a faithful God. It will happen. He will not let you down. That's what he said in Hebrews 13. I will not in any way fail you or leave you without support. Therefore, we can say with confidence, The Lord is my helper. I will not be afraid. What can man do to me? You need to let that sink down on the inside. I will not fail you, God is saying. Everything will work out. I am in complete control. I know what the medical report says. I know what the financial situation looks like. I see the people who are coming against you. I know how big your dreams are, and hear me clearly. I will not fail you. I will not let you down. I will not let that problem overtake you. I will cause you to be the overcomer. God is saying, if we will keep our trust in him, he will always make a way, even though it looks like there is no way. He will give you strength for every battle, wisdom for every decision, peace that passes, understanding. God will vindicate you for the wrongs that have been done. He will pay you back for unfair situations. He promised he will not only bring your dreams to pass, he will give you even the secret desires of your heart. Dare to trust him. Come back to that place of peace. Quit being worried, stressed out, wondering if it will happen. God has you in the palm of his hand. He, he has never once failed before, and the good news is he is not about to start now. Thank you for watching. Um, I hope that blesses you in some way. And we'll see you tomorrow for day three. Have a good one. Bye.